Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So, we are here today to talk about Malaysia Halal Certificate for Food and Drinks. Alright, as we know, Islam is the official religion in Malaysia. So, Halal Certificate is a need for us, especially Muslim consumers, to inform us that the products are prepared by Halal Method. Before we continue this video, I will introduce you what is Malaysia Halal Certificate. Alright, first of all, Malaysia Halal Certificate is an official form that refers to the halal standardization of products and service according with the Malaysia Halal Certification Scheme issued by the competent authority. But as I said earlier, Halal certificate is actually a symbol of assurance and confidence for Muslim consumers. Actually, a lot of schemes for um, Malaysia halal certificate mm -hmm. such as food and drinks, consumer goods, cosmetic and personal care, logistics, mm -hmm. slaughterhouse, pharmaceutical industry, uh, original Equipment Manufacturer, OEM, and Medical Device. But why we choose food and drinks? The reason why we choose this topic, which is Malaysia Health Certificate for Food and Drinks, because we found some uh, food premise and food company that use fake halal logo and expired halal certificate like this. So, objective of this video is we actually want to spread the knowledge and awareness about Malaysia certificate for Muslim consumer in Malaysia. We want they to be more careful when buy and consume food and drinks. We also want they to be more understand about the concept of halal food. So without wasting any time, let's enjoy this video. I will explain about background of Malaysian Halal Certificates. Firstly, we must know what is the definition of Halal. What is Halal? According to Jatim guidelines, Halal is defined as a food not made of or containing parts of animal origin which is Islamic law forbids to be consumed. Food will be categorized as Halal if it does not contain or come into contact with anything regarded as food. For example, alcohol, blood, pork and feces. Food must be processed or manufactured using equipment untreated by anything unclean. Halal certification is a means to ensure customer certification, insurance, and reliance. Furthermore, it requires not only the food served to be halal, but also the entire process involved in producing it. In 1974, Department of Islamic Development Nation, or we call JAKIM, was involved in confirming the status of halal on consumer food products and goods. It began when the Research Center of the Islamic Affairs Division of the Prime Minister's Officer won halal certification letter for products made the criteria as well. Moreover, Jakin issued halal certificates to local and global markets is also responsible for the monitoring and enforcing of halal certification. In general, halal certification is authority for Muslim consumers to consume halal products that add Follow Sharia guidelines. That's all for me. My name is Adriana, and I want to talk about the requirement of Malaysian halal certification. So the first one is the to ensure the raw material or ingredient sources are halal and safe. So for the second one is the processing. Products applied should be produced consistently with updated production required and during operation, handling, processing, packaging, storage or transport product, they shall be in compliance to requirement by the Sharia law and remain clean as well as comply to good manufacturing practice, GMP or good hygienic practice which is GHP. For the packaging and labeling, the third element Every packaging label should be printed prominently, clearly and in, in the label. The uh, packaging label shall contain information according to the rules, act and related standard. For the fourth factor which is factory, 
the factory compound shall be fenced or having a control mechanism to prevent pests to prevent pets or wild animals from entering or remain in the factory area. The equipment used shall be free from nitrogen and hazardous materials and does not result in side effect to the products produced. The uh, fifth uh, element is the food premise. Equipment must be in and goods in the factory shall need tidy and safe and then halal food or beverage are not allowed to be brought into the premise compound and the premise shall have an effective control system so that uh, it is separated from the process of preparing non-halal material so the sixth element is the worker worker shall practice code of ethics and good hygienic practice GHP as stated in food hygiene regulation 2009 and other related regulation and they should wear proper and suitable attire during working. For the seventh element is sanitation system. The environment, uh, it includes sanitation system in environment, equipment, pest uh, control and cleaning schedule. For the eighth factor is halal record. And the applicant shall provide a proper uh, a proper file to keep related documents which can be referred to when inspection is conducted. So the ninth uh, element is broker's basic amenities and welfare. So the management should provide basic amenities and ensure the worker's welfare is taken, uh, is taken care. So that is all for the requirement. Having halal certification in Malaysia is not only beneficial to Muslim consumer, but also beneficial to companies. Halal certification in Malaysia also help us produce high quality product. As we know, halal requirement also imply that product should be hygienic, healthy, and free of harmful ingredients. So it is important to apply halal certification. But how can we get halal certificate? First, we must submit online all application for halal certificate via my eHalal at www.halal.gov.my. Supporting document also shall be submitted to JAKIM or JAIN after the application form has been submitted. After JAKIM receive the applicant's document, they will review the application and document. If the file sent is incomplete, the applicants should take corrective action to complete the document review process. Then, Jakim will issue a fee letter. After the application has paid, Jakim will arrange for your company to be reviewed. During the on-site audit, the auditor will take sample and send them for laboratory analysis to ensure that all ingredients used are based on halal product. Then, the auditor re and produce and, and produce an audit report. Include laboratory analysis result. The report will be forwarded to the Malaysian halal certification at the panel meeting. And if the applicants fail, Jakim will issue a notice letter stating that uh, state that the applicants has not obtained a halal certificate in Malaysia. If the applicants pass the halal request, the Malaysia ha halal certificate will be issued and the process will be, will be complete. Then applicants can use the halal certifi certificate Malaysia logo for free on the product. So next we go to the next topic which is a halal certificate and halal logo. So first, we need to know what is Malaysian halal certificate. Malaysian halal certificate is an official document stating the halal status of product or service according to Malaysia halal certificate scheme issued by the competent authority. Slide. In this slide, we can see the example of Malaysian halal certificate. Uh, in the certification can only issue by Jakim, Jain, and Ma'in. So we go through to the halal logo. First, we need to know what is halal logo. 
Halal logo is the common graphic mark used for halal measure which is a symbol to indicate the product or business that certified by halal jakin. This is also an indication that the product or business is sharia compliance. From this picture in this slide, can you know which halal logo is fake or not? For your information, in this picture is example of the halal of the fake halal logo. So how can we know if the halal logo is fake or not? So we move to the next slide. In this slide show, how can we know if this if this halal logo is certified by Jacob or not? So let's look through to the halal logo. First, we have a uh, the word measure in a circle. Second, a uh, two small five point star for the separate for separate the Rumi and Arabic word. A uh, third point, uh, the Arabic word halal in the middle of the star. Fourth, uh, writing Malaysia uh, in Arabic. Five, a uh, halal Roman writing in the middle below the Arab word. Five, uh, the logo is in a circle shape. And the last point, eight pointed star in the center of the circle. Uh, this next slide uh, have another example to how to know the real Malaysia halal logo. Mm -hmm.